Your mother said something quite prophetic early on, didn't she? She said that, uh, Greg, you know, one day, you know, you're either going to do very well in life or you're going to end up in jail. And you did both? I did both. And you did both? I did. What went very, very wrong? Why did you end up having to serve a nearly eight-year prison sentence? I went to jail for corporate fraud and for drug offences. And I um, became a dealer. What was jail like for you? First, when I went into jail, it was just pure shock. I don't actually, I, it, was, it was a haze. You were openly gay man too. Was that, yes. was that terrifying in the prison context? It was. Yeah, I nearly got raped, pack raped. Uh, I got bashed a couple of times. Mm. And the first time was because it was somebody with a mental disorder who thought that I was going to use the telephone before him. So it was, you know. And, it's and a that's volatile sort of, environment. It's a very volatile environment. Mm. I mean, a telephone on a wall is probably one of the most valuable commodities. Because it's your, your, your contact with the outside world. There you are, though, finding yourself having conversations with the, the man who killed Anita Cobby. Uh, when I was first put in with him and I realised I was with the lead pack rapist of, uh, and murderer of Anita Cobby, John Travers, I thought to myself, I'm terrified here. So I rang my lawyers, who immediately rang through to the governor of the jail. He came and said to me, look, I'll move you if you want, but the reality is he's been a model prisoner for a long time and if you get on well with him, that's a good thing for you. So I thanked him and I just went back and, um, and I took that advice and, uh, yes, uh, John was, uh, was pretty decent to me and uh, almost protective. But, you know, he also sickened me. So it was a very mixed emotion. But, you know, in that jail, which was a maximum security jail, lockdowns were regular so you could be in a cell with somebody for two or three days and not get out so it's in a three by six meter space that's pretty heavy mm-hmm.